What's up? What's up? What's up, everybody? This is part two of Vampire Gameplay. Decided to uh, continue where we left off. Your health regenerates slowly over time. We love that. Hope everyone's doing good now today. We're picking off where we kind of left off. Follow the blood trail from the pier. Yeah, so we already rested. We already searched this dude. Uh, this was the safe house. Rats are often located near hideouts. Yeah, we've done that. Yeah, let's... Sorry, buddy. We're hungry. We need our, uh, you know, vitamins and all that junk. Yum, 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 yum. I know it's gross, but we gotta do it. I need a little sucker. Oh, oh there's another guy here. Let's hide. Let's just hide shit here. Oh, okay, that's just a hide. Okay, that stuff. See, I wish it, it was kind of like a stealth aspect right here. Where I can kind of like just creep up on this dude right here. But there is, doesn't seem like it. Would have been a nice little kind of thing right here. Sorry, buddy. Um, yeah, 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 yeah. Drop something. Equip and press Y to use your ranged weapons. Okay. That would be if we had equipped the other stuff here. So let's see. That would be, I guess, this thing here. So we got a couple of bullets here. So can we equip it? You can only upgrade your weapons. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, boy! Okay, what, anything else here? Hmm. So it would have to be... It would basically have to be a main hand thing. Oh, shit. So. Alright, let's go back to following the blood trail. We check this dude out here. Yeah. That kind of wish it was like a um, stuff right here. Fresh blood. The whole building reeks of it. The scent is so strong it makes me dizzy. A used siphon. Let's see if that one is better than what we were using here. Alright, so 45. Yeah, that's going to do a lot more damage. Let's whip that bad boy. Oh, so that takes to replace that steak thing right there. Okay. That's two there. Ultimately, we don't have that yet. Well, let's try it out. baby all right so we know how to parry now there you go so, oh yeah take that sucker yeah we're, we're out of stamina here for a second let's get a little bit of stand back practice there you go Oh, this seems like this is kind of what you would say like a boss fight, man. Be gone, demon. Hey, do you need help, sir? William was an honorable man. I could have saved him. Do you need Mr. help, sir? Hampton, are you in there? We knew him well. Another lost soul, a kindred spirit. Sir, listen to the sound of my voice. I am a doctor. I'm a doctor. You're suffering from shock. Oh shit, who's rolling up on me like that? 
stray without me. Ooh. Thanks, homie. Remember, oh. certain skulls are Thanks, me lady. Distant as we are. Who are you? What do you mean by skull? You truly are a newborn. I should have realized. Wait. You you are the woman from the bar. Are you like me? Are you here to seduce me? Can you help me? I believe, sir, I already have. <laughs> Whoa! Another girl that leaves out of my life. God damn it. By George and the Saints, you've solved the mystery of these terrible murders. Tell look at this sucker coming over here now. Oh, is somebody coming in the last minute? I've come to offer help. Just give me a moment to secure my boat. We can leave this awful place. William was not the evil man they claimed. He was just taken by the thirst. He needed his drink. This man requires medical attention. We'll see he gets to the nearest hospital. No, please. I almost tend to my fold. My flock needs me. Yes, sir. Go with a good Dr. Swansea. He's resourceful, and I'm sure he'll take good care of you. Hope so. I hope this guy don't use him as an experiment or something. You'll need a place to rest. I just need a moment. If I can learn something about what has happened to William, I'll be a step closer to understanding what happened to me. Guys, if you hear any creaking sound on my chair, I'm not farting, guys. <laughs> Chair's old. This poor creature can't be my maker. Could Got it a be blood some sample? subspecies of vampire? I must find a place to analyze the blood. Pretty freaking gruesome. Oh, shit. We want to see if we can go upstairs too before we, you know, head out of this little shithole. It's locked. Definitely take money. I could always use money. Who knows if they have like some sort of a vendor shit. That's it. She had got up through here. So, doesn't look like they want me to do anything else here. So, that's it. Yeah. You got a beer, homie? Achievement. Take a ride with Dr. Swansea. You've come a long way graphically on games. I remember a lot of times when we used to play games and stuff and like Where you're looking in at characters and it just be kind of like this. It's just across the canal. They'll have a bed for poor Mr. Hampton. They just wouldn't the blink or anything, no motion. What manner of creature was he? Predator, prey, villain, and victim. Who can say? The important thing is that he's been stopped. Duly noted. And the woman? What who is she? What woman? No, don't play me for a fool. You used me to locate that skull. You must know who she is. And I thought you were a gentleman. You shouldn't talk about a lady behind her back. But I will tell you, she values. You shouldn't her talk about anybody behind her back. Were well, London as peaceful as she appears from the middle of the canal? If only that were the reality of the situation. To be honest, I've always tried to avoid this part of town. Pembroke Hospital is the last bastion oh, between the rest of London and the epidemic. Kind of eerie. The flu has decimated the East End and the war still rages. Welcome to the front lines of a plague. This is where you work, Dr. Swansea. I am the administrator of Pembroke Flu, Hospital. plague, I thought you were here dark times. The mysterious order, the Brotherhood of... Of St. Paul's Stone, yes. But first and foremost, I'm a man of science. A physician, like yourself, Dr. Oh, Reed. How do you know who I am? No need for modesty. You are Damn. Dr. Jonathan Reed, a surgeon of some caliber and renown, if I'm not mistaken. Shit. You are we are a doctor. I knew it. Had a feeling. I had my suspicions. But when you took the blood sample from the corpse of poor William, I was certain. Dr. Reed. Marvelous. I can dig it. I can dig it. I attended three of your seminars before the war. I have the utmost admiration for your research. And what a turn of fate. 
England's most esteemed blood specialist, returns to London a vampire. <sighs> that word again, from a so-called man of science. I understand. Traditionally, the role of science is to refute myth, but when myth walks among us, the Brotherhood of St. Paul has dedicated its... Yeah, it's hard to deny it if it's like right in front of you so and stuff. for you to learn. Of that, you are right. Well, then let me be blunt. Join my staff at Pembroke Hospital. And as a physician. I suspect you'll not find a better post of employment to contemplate your uh, predicament. But I want to kill people! What do you eat them? I was returning home to see my sickly mother. But alas, that was before contracting this... Affliction. Dr. Reed, take a moment to consider. The post would be for the night shift, providing a good explanation for your absence during daylight hours. Mm. You'll be adequately reimbursed and have a place to hide. Have I even offer. had the forethought to bring some clean clothes. So, what do you say? You don't like the position we can freaking always eat them. Offer, so I thank you. Brilliant. Oh, Jonathan, this is one for the book and the beginning of a beautiful friendship. Guess I gotta get naked, guys. Oh, yeah. Naked. Pembroke Hospital. Dr. Swansea, thank goodness. I was beginning to be concerned. Worry no more, Nurse Crane. For I bring good news. Hello, Nurse, baby. What's going on here? What a night. We lost two patients. Nurse Scouts said you can not take anymore and resigned. Yes, well, I'll make a new rotor in the morning. In the meantime, find a good bed for Mr. Hampton. Be sure to pay attention. He needs our help. Of course, Doctor. Oh, and Dorothy. Just such as us. Doctor Reed here has just returned from the front. He served. Oh shoot! I'm looking boss. Joining us here at Pembroke, we're very lucky to have gained a surgeon of his talent. And one so experienced in blood transfusions. That is good news indeed, Doctor. <laughs> oh, yes. Am I look dope? Here at Pembroke, it's not what we have. Thanks, brother. But what we haven't. It's only thanks to Nurse Crane and the staff that our ship doesn't sink. If you have any questions, just ask her. Duly noted. Thank you. Your assistance is required, Dr. Swansea, immediately. Welcome aboard, Jonathan. We'll catch up after my rounds. Coming, Nurse Crane. I'm coming. Oh, yeah. Right. Yeah, we look cool now. Look at this. Way better than that dirt shit. All right, mission update. So let's go check out what's up. So we've accepted uh, Dr. Swanson's help. We're going to work at Pembroke Hospital. We have no choice. The man knows about my condition and what I've become. A vampire. I can't believe this. I don't know anything about this secluded medical facility. Everybody here will take me for what I'm not anymore. Jonathan E. Reed, the famous surgeon. I must lie to them all. To the patients, to the staff, this is my new home where I will find, where I will hide from all who are after me. Where I will hide from everyone until I get better understanding of what's going on. Alright. That's our, so our main quest, identify and confront the vampire created me. We did that. And now we got to go into the hospital. Before we do that. I cannot enter. Yeah, typical. Everything would be locked here. We'll have a word in my office later, Jonathan. Come on, you bastard. You can do better than that. Nah. Shit. It's my turn. Oh, shit. What the hell's going on here? Rotten or pressy, each heart contains the secret of life. Drink at this river. Try it all. Guess we're gonna have to do- Hey, hey, buddy, you look like you need some help. <sighs> oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. 
calm yourself. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. Hmm. We should be it. Let's be an asshole, guys. I'll let you bleed. <laughs> I've a mind to let you bleed out. Good luck then, sir. All right, all right. Sorry. I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street and you're yabbering on. Yes. That's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word, I was... I am a doctor. Dr. Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. Alright, the blood quality indicates how much XP you will attain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. To drink more blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. Should we do this? Yeah, I guess we're mesmerizing them. Holy shit. Bring this fading light into the shadows. Dance with him the dance of life. And Holy death. shit. Holy crap. It's embrace him. I love him. <laughs> Feed. Holy crap. Back, you bastard. Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. Sorry, buddy. I need to feed, man. Right now, we gotta feed on anybody we can. Well, he also did kill that sucker there, too. To taste a life. To embrace its most intimate secrets. Such a burden. Such a divine sin. I mean, this power is, like, calling to me. Tiny common handle part. Anything else here? I think we got everything. It looks like we got everything. Alright, so let's keep proceeding. Oh, look at all these sick people. Somebody just told me to hurry up. Oh, there's that chick there. Looking around, lady. You know, let me look around. Gotta get familiar with this shit. Oh. All right, damn it. Doctor, where have you been? I've little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious. I was eating. Be. How do you eat, girl? I nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. Yeah. You delivered we poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, Doctor. Thank you, Nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke. Beautiful Hospital, eyes. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I would like to ask a few questions first. Let me see, should I answer something? And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in, how does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. <laughs> eh, smart ass. It's right to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. Yeah, I like I my outfit. Him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Damn. Apologies, I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Dr. Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. Cool. 
Thank you, lady. Thank you, my lady. If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital. Second floor right hospital. After the stairs, it's the last vacant office at the end Let's of. Let's go rest. Thank you, Nurse Crane. Counts. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. Let's look around. What's this up here? Careless, spitting, sneezing, coughing, spread influenza, spread by droplets sprayed from those in and, and throw. Do not cough in public. Good evening, miss. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon at the Pembroke Hospital. And who are you? Your name has no meaning to me, mortal. You're nothing but dust blown by the winds of eternity. I beg your pardon? What are you begging for, mortal? My clemency. Well, tonight maybe I'm inclined to mercy. You'll never forget the night you met Thelma Howcroft. You keep calling me mortal. Why is that? And if I'm mortal, what are you? Well, don't <laughs> Excuse me. If you must know, I'm a vampire. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? I mean, apart from being a vampire. Is that not enough? She looks like my girl, Kate Beckinsale. What do you remember? From, um... Hmm? Proof of my powers? I'm is curious it, uh, Underworld? who you were before becoming a vampire. It was such a long time ago, I don't Dude. remember. Centuries of unholy life. Aye. Strange effects on one's minds, you see? I'm assuming you must be a patient here. Am I right, Miss Howcroft? It's only a cover to hide from my enemies. I can leave whenever I want. Mm. As a woman, a, a spirit, fog, or bat. The Jeez. staff here you see are not sick. your enemy. They're here to help you, to care for you. I'm not speaking of the doctors in white. I'm speaking of the men and women who hunt me. For I am a vampire. I see. Don't worry. These people will not find you here. I'll personally make sure they leave you alone. Thank you, mortal. But do not interfere with them, for you are no match for those that hunt me. Who are these enemies you mentioned? Can you describe them? I cannot say for sure. But I sense their eyes on me from nearby. I, I, I feel them watching me every time I visit the garden near the morgue. All right, so we got some information. And why do you believe you're a vampire? I don't need to believe anything. It is what I am. It is what I feel within this hollow shell of flesh. Please, describe to me how you feel. What is it like to be a vampire? I can hear my body crumble from the inside as my flesh cracks and fades. I sense the last pulse of postulant blood within my drying veins. I need new blood. I see. Have you ever heard of Cotard syndrome, Miss Howcroft? Never. It's a mental illness discovered by a French neurologist named Jules. Get an education. The affected patients are delusional. I think he's saying that she's delusional. Putrefying, that they are dead, a ghost or a ghoul, or in your case, a vampire. Delusional, you say? Oh, sad and petty mortal. You can't even begin to understand the concept of immortality. And you think it is I who am delusional. Damn. Who are you really, Miss Howcroft? Oh no, we already I mean, asked her that. From... Is that not I'm Come here. All right, let's get out of here. I'll leave you, Mistress of the Dark. All right, so we spoke to this chick here. See, is it possible to speak to everyone here? So you can pretty much talk to everybody. Good evening, Good evening Doctor. I don't think we've been introduced yet. My name is Pippa Hawkins. And I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. Dr. Swansea has recently offered me a position in this hospital. Well, it's a euphemism that your help will be appreciated, Doctor. Ah, right, screw that. Goodbye, Nassau. Let's go upstairs to our room for a second. Got some XP. Oh, and we also got to find out who's spying on her, too, as well. 
four. So let's go here. Oh shit. Lucy, our home! Place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. Nice Relegated place. to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. Very At nice. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. So we got a blood sample. Just did something. As we get more things, we'll hopefully be able to do some of this stuff. Oh, shoot. We got a hatchet. This is 99. This is 65. 72. We might switch it up. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue oh. tomorrow night. Dear Jonathan, I asked Nurse Crane to secure an office for you on the second floor. Please forgive the austere decoration. But Pembroke Hospital is not exactly the Ritz. Sorry to let you discover your office alone, but I need to sleep a little bit before going back to work. I'm just a mere mortal after all. I also gave orders to let you rest and for the staff to never enter your room. You will be able to sleep all day without being disturbed. And work at night without raising any suspicion. I'm afraid the place is quite messy, but you'll be able to conduct your experiments here at your own pace. You'll also notice there's an open window with a scaffolding that will allow you to enter or exit the hospital without being noticed. I imagine how awfully new and disturbing this all must be for you. Believe me, I have studied enough of your species to understand what you must now be facing and feeling. Be assured, I'll do whatever I can to help you in this ordeal. Know that you're not completely alone facing it. I'm glad I met you. These dark times we are all presently facing. I hope our future collaboration will yield great results. Welcome to Pembroke, my esteemed colleague. We shall talk soon. Um, I'm going to P.S. I left a copy of some of my notes concerning what I've discovered about Ekon in the last few years. Feel free to read about it if you need some guidance. As long as you don't use this knowledge, you take advantage of me. I have so much time now. Okay, I don't see anything else shiny. One thing I like about other games and stuff, they always... Oh, shit, here it is. Here it is. It is a rare opportunity and almost a privilege to approach a vampire to observe their most intriguing physical and psychological traits with a scientific, scientific and rational eye. Here are some of the most fascinating abilities I've personally observed over the last 10 years while interviewing a few vampires, or Ekin, as they prefer to call themselves. So, they have supernatural speed, which we kind of get that. The mesmerizing, which we were kind of doing before, and we have blood awareness. Um, oh, shit. Yeah, they crave the blood. They need blood to function. Yeah. All right. Ooh, we got some more vials. All right, let's go rest. Let's put some skills. Let's see what kind of skills we can get. We got the Blood Spear, we got the Shadow Mist. Uh, the last thing we did, we can increase our health. So we got about 1,200. 3, 6, 9, 12. We could do a couple of these 300 ones. Uh, we got that. We got the Claws. We got defensive stuff. Ooh. Oh, we got a Blood Barrier. Yeah, 600. I want to increase my health. I always like having my health up. Okay. There we go. We got that. Endurance. We got the stamina. Increase your blood capacity. Increase your blood absorption. When biting in combat. Let's do the blood capacity. So like when we're eating rats and all that crap. Okay. Now we could do hard biting, increase the damage inflicted when using biting combat. You can now carry three serums with you, increase the number of bullets you can carry. That's pretty good too. And we could do a barrier. 
So I think we're going to do the blood barrier for 600. Let's get a defense move. There we go. Okay. Let's confirm all this. Every night, the consequences of your actions may improve or degrade the district health status. It can also be degraded due to diseases spread among citizens. Embraced. Cox was 30 years old, male. Had low life. <laughs> Alright, so we did get some experience off of him. She's healthy right now. to stay here until my research chapter two boys i'd better learn to hide my true nature from the mortals but what about my thirst for blood the flower's dying it needs water right, let's go out of here I'm not one to make weight, Doctor. I've patience to attend. And yes, she's got a little good. attitude. How can I help you? I'm so sorry. I know Dr. Swansea wanted you to rest, but we have somewhat of a crisis. A crisis, you say? Our supply of antiseptics is nearly depleted. I was hoping there was another box up here, but... What type of hospital are you running? No antiseptics. You have been away too long, Doctor. With the war and now this epidemic, supplies have been running scarce for months now. Jesus. I may have a solution. In France, during the war, drugs shortage was a daily problem, and we had to use our wits to overcome the shortages. However do you mean? Hmm. If combined correctly, certain household chemical products can be used in a pinch instead. Now, where's the hospital storeroom? The storeroom? Fat chance. This is the Pembroke, and space is luxury we don't have. Everything used to be stored in the old morgue. Perhaps I should look there first. I guess we're going to the morgue, guys. Morgue? It's the large building behind the hospital. You'll need to go in the back door because it's been sealed off. Oh, I'm going to go in the back door. Take this key. It opens a small back entrance at the end of a narrow street. Yeah. The abandoned morgue behind the hospital. A small door at the end of an arrow street. Yeah. On my way then. Thank you, nurse. Thank you, milady. How's that? Don't mind if I do. Alright, let's go. I will definitely have to see what's going on. Who's spying on my girl here. And it looks like we're close to it as well. See it right here. Thelma Howcroft oh, actually she was might being be watched by vampire hunters. Where are they hiding? I should investigate. Hey, he won't need that money where he's gone. Listen to what he's saying. Your city needs you. Every life is saved. Talk to the schmuck here. Yo, yo, what's up? It's locked. They jerk off. Yep. It's locked, all right. It's Tomorrow, locked, all right. More bodies will arrive. Who are you? Good evening. I'm Doctor Reed. Always a pleasure to meet a colleague, sir. Especially when he was supposedly dead. A colleague? Are you a doctor too? Not anymore, sir. I used to be Dr. Rakesh Chadana. Now, hmm. I'm just Mr. Chadana. Pawnbroker and humble guardian of this morgue. What do you mean? You used to be a doctor. Was your license revoked? No, sir. It is just that I like to be precise. I run a little pawn shop while taking care of the dead. 
but I used to be a real doctor. Please show me what you have to sell. Of course. It's just trinkets and curiosities. This guy's probably robbing these dead people. But I'm sure they can be useful. We ain't gonna buy nothing off this sucker right now. But we can sell. Excuse me. Making my way downtown. Hospital full. Hey. We got over there 43 meters. Let's go to the morgue real quick. Trash can. I thought that shit looked like it was shiny. Got some grease and some screws. My health is looking good. I like that they let us explore a lot. I like that. So if you do like reading every little nick and cranny, then it's a pretty cool uh, game off that. Cover each cough and squeeze with handkerchief. Walk to work. Do not spit. Drink from your own cup. Avoid crowds. If taken, they'll go to bed and send for a doctor. Scowl voices in the garden. Hear that crap? I should oh. investigate. Oh. If they were to find somebody. Holy crap. Oh, shit. We're gonna practice our dodging. Why? Oh, never mind. Oh. There, so there is a little bit of combo. Ah, oh, shit. Sucker. A little bit of combo system to it. We did absorb some damage based off the shield that we just did. And we want to test. We have a lot of blood on us, so we're good there. I guess this is where we're going. This don't feel like a morgue, but let's check it out. Some citizens may have quests for if you talk to them. Oh, we are at the morgue. Shit. Okay. Okay. That file. Let's look around everywhere. Find some ferrous tartate, some queen, and some sodium hypochlorite. We'll be looking around. And we'll check every room. So we came in through there. So this is the door we came in through. Okay. Check this right door here. Before we go through other doors, let me see if it's locked. Okay, that's exiting the morgue. That's not what we want to do. Loading in this game isn't bad. Yeah, the loading in, in this game isn't that bad on PC at all. Let me go back in it. Get back in there. Yeah, the loading in the game doesn't seem too bad. That we made a mistake going outside. Yeah, we're back in the morgue. All right, we're cool. Every time you see that little Y symbol, it's um, saving. So you make sure you don't want to quit out of the game when that's happening. We got this door here. It's locked. Locked. I don't know yet if this game has any sort of jump scares. Interested to, to see if it would. Oh, 
Got some more suckers here. Oh, we're out of stamina. Oh, we dodged. Damn, look at that guy with his hops. Behavior similar to the infected William Bishop. Yeah. Must be the same strain. Oh, this got something. This moves faster than influenza. We got the Furious. We're definitely fighting enemies, so I think we get a XP according to it. Killing them, so. Let's check what this guy was at. Cigarette case. Pretty sure Sig's probably be able to sell. Got that. More files. I cannot Lock. enter. Okay, can't go through there. Oh yeah, before we do that, I wanted to see if that uh, weapon that we got was better. So this is 99. Got 65, 72, 65, 45. So 72 ain't that bad. 72. Let's let's get the hatchet. If it lets me put it on. So how do we equip it again? Alright, so let's go here. Let's put so we'll lose a little bit, but I want to see if it's a one-hander. Let's see. Yeah, so we'll have the off hand. Now we can put the gun. Yeah, I want to start shooting, so let's get the shoddy. Oh, we don't have much bullets for that, so. I gotta see how we reload that. Alright, let's see. Whoops, okay. So you don't want to press Y. What I just did right there. Okay. This key will surely grant me access to the basement. So that was that looked like that gate section over there, but let's keep looking around. So we came in. Oh shit! Let's get the shit out of me for a second. Whoa, that sucker is. Let's see his block. Oh boy, oh boy. And he he wrecked me a little bit. He messed me up big time. Luckily, we we are recovering some health back. You know, one thing about it, axe very slow. Let's go upstairs. Let's check up. I'm gonna try shooting people this time. Okay. Let's go back downstairs. Shit. He went in through here. Two of them? Shit. See, I was hoping that you could kind of aim. These scowls feed from corpses and the husk of They're not out of luck. Damn, look at that combo he did on me. Jesus. We know that when we go back home, we can kind of restock on the ammo. So, did see another dude there, so we'll, we'll check it out. I want to shoot them. Okay, got that. Oh, shit! I got scared. Oh, boy. Oh boy, can't see. You gotta be careful with the camera angles and stuff too, so. We're out of stam here. So this axe is slow. Let's see if we change that. Let's go back here real quick. Let's try the hacksaw. I wanna see if that's faster. Seems a little faster, but we'll find out. There we go. 
now. That combo right there. Shoot him. We'll need more ammo later, but... Let's go back. Things are getting a little bit more interesting now. Go back the other way real quick. Make sure we get it. That looked like that was somebody. That scared the crap out of me there. Go back. Okay. Make sure we grabbed everything. We came down here. Okay. And we killed the dude here, so I don't think we picked up everything here. Okay. Got that. Thought I saw some more stuff here. Okay. There it is, there it is. Okay. Let's check if we can get through this door here. It's locked, all right. Use Lithin knife. New type of offhand weapon. Equip it and press to absorb. Oh, shoot. Cool. Nice. Very nice. Very nice. Office of... Uh, huh. A new citizen investigation is available. Okay. You can start... You can start a new citizen quest by tracking with X. And access your menu. Uh, the harder they fall, and that's the other chick stuff. So we can track this one if we wanted to. Yeah. Okay. Mr. Connor's injuries don't match the report. I'd better look into this. Well, since we're here, we might as well do it. It's locked, all right. Now, let's see if that did anything here. Yeah, okay. Let's check it out. Let's corner the lips. Traces of a pinkish foam at the corner of the lips. Jesus, jizzed. Some sort of drug overdose, perhaps? <laughs> Damaged legs Multiple and arms. Multiple abrasions and scarring on the arms and legs. Old and distinctive injuries of a sailor or a fisherman. The chest was originally open to perform the operation. The sutures are clean, but the chest has been reopened. Yeah, you can see it with the uh, staplings and all that. A puncture over the left lung, possibly a chest tube insertion. Not the cleanest work, but I think it was successful. Signs of internal bleed. This guy's mad smart. So. Dr. Tippett's anesthetics were incorrectly dosed, causing the patient's death. And, and then he tried here to you put the life on the line, you trust Tippett the doctor. Tippett made an egregious error. It's time we talked. Damn. Okay, so we've done that. Tippett has made an egregious Yeah, we've done that. Typical, huh? Fucking doctor. But we still haven't found the sodium yet. Got that door. And let me just check. I mean, this should be the same door. Make sure we're not forgetting anything here. Yeah, we came through there. That's the guy that fell down. We checked that. But we got this door that this guy was knocking on. And this last door. Feel uneasy right here, like something's gonna happen. Yep, call that. Let's get a little pressure on him. Good him. Oh, that's just him teleporting. We got this guy. We're gonna kick his ass. Yeah, he's, he's going down. You're going down, big boy. There we go. Skulls can be so ferocious. 
I'm not sure I can defeat them without becoming stronger. Oh, to drink blood is so tempting. Sodium hypochlorite. Dangerous to administer, but efficient in the proper dosage. Found what we needed. Let's go check around here. Alright, so we're gonna do our little jump thing. Very nice, very nice. I love that move. I'm not gonna be going through any of these doors here, and let's go craft. New cat. Oh, we're gonna analyze that real quick. What are we uh what are we crafting again? Treatment for fatigue. That he wanted us to craft. Let me see. Craft the treatment for fatigue. Fatigue. For fatigue. Fatigue. Here it is. Okay. Okay. Nice. Right, so we got a lot of fucking. We got a lot of experience there. Got some more water samples here. Let's grab that. More blueprints. More possible things to be making. Uh, blood absorption. 10 stun. Got a bludgeon. A hacksaw. Use bludgeon. Everything we got is technically kind of used. Attack speed is 15. So that's definitely faster. Stamina. It uses less stamp too, so that's cool. Then we got everything that we could get here. We have one other mission to track that I would definitely want to keep track on. Where's our missions? Uh, okay, track that one. Because we know we got to talk to this dude here. When we can, let's just make sure we have that track there. Get out of here. Wait, did we open this one? Yeah, this is where we examine homie over here. Okay. Oh, let's bounce. That's why it's good to have good... Oh, shoot. Hey, son. They begin to jump. They get a little scary. When you're least expecting it. When you're least expecting it, uh, you know, you're not really paying attention. <laughs> Gotta get our stam up. Each kill experience, we want it. Oh. Tried to use my Y to uh, block. Whoa, whoa. What the hell happened there? The freak. That was kind of whack. Gotta be very careful with, with not having stamina. That's like make or break right there. Luckily, we regenerate life. One of the bonuses here. Let's exit out of here. Let's drink some coffee, baby. We need our morning coffee. Blind scales and preachers will feel your presence while using the ability. We'll rest. We'll get our health back in a little while. Put the shield on just in case. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. I see something there. All right, let's go back home. Dorothy! What's up, baby? Got something. Finally, you've returned, Doctor. Did you find anything of value? Hey, girl, you're yes, impatient? Sir. You've worked your first miracle, Doctor. Now, this patient here needs immediate treatment. 
Duty calls. When the storm has passed, I'll show you how to mix the remedy yourself with the same basic ingredients. Many thanks, Doctor. When you've finished, you ought to report to Dr. Swansea in his office. He's been looking for you. Seemed pressing. Yeah. Reads me like a book. I never could keep anything from her. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I believe we're going to be colleagues. Reed? Yes, I've been informed about your arrival. I'm Waverly Aykroyd. Welcome aboard, I suppose. Does my arrival inconvenience you in some way, Dr. Aykroyd? Let us just say that I don't particularly share Dr. Swans's enthusiasm for hiring you. What we need here are reliable professionals, Jeez. not overrated dabblers. What a jerk off. I don't know what you've heard about me, but I have already proved my value as a practitioner. I don't question your skills, Dr. Reed, but your motive. Is it money? Fame? Or are you truly dedicated? And what exactly is that supposed to mean? I served in the war just like you. But unlike you, I did not use the wounded to play the modern sorcerer. Be careful what you insinuate, Dr. Aykroyd. I only want you to admit you used those men to improve your theories. This is ridiculous. My blood transfusion technique saved many lives, and you know it. You see? That is exactly what I hate about yeah. people like you. You avoid this kind of accusation instead of facing reality. It seems you have bad memories of your military service. Looks like he's I got a deeper freaking issue. slaughter as scientific progress. War only reveals the worst in men. We can at least agree on something, Dr. Aykroyd. Thank you for your time. We'll talk later. Who's this guy? Good evening, Doctor. I believe we're going to be working together. Dr. Reed. Dr. Swansea informed us of your arrival, but I could not dare to believe we'd have such good fortune. Such an honor. At least he's happy to see me. Thank you. And you are? I am Thoreau Strickland. Dr. Thoreau Strickland. I'm a great admirer of your work, Dr. Reed. Thank you, thank you. Goodbye, Dr. Strickland. Edgar Swanton. We'll talk to the homie here. I think he's upstairs? He looks like he could be upstairs. Let's go upstairs. He's not upstairs. I know this is our room. Dr. Reed, who's this guy here? Tibbets. It's locked, all right. Oh, I thought I had tracked the other missions, huh? Let's see. You would think I'm tracking it, but uh, I feel like I'm pressing the wrong button. Let's see. This app. Then we'll do that one later. Please, Jonathan, come in. Thanks, man. What about if I do, sir? Fascinating, is it not? In the last decade, so many mysteries have been brought to light with our microscopes. The human body. Biology's penultimate frontier. Is that your new girlfriend? The more we explore its boundaries, the less we're able to trace a clear line between Dude. life and death. Hi. <laughs> you, my friend, have a foot in both countries. The view must be vertiginous. It's at least as vertiginous as chatting about vampires with you, I would say. Oh, you. told you, sir. The town, the hospital, <laughs> How stimulating it must be. Burned them. I wish I could share your enthusiasm, Dr. Swansea, but my condition defies scientific categorization. Undead? Unalive? Immortality defies logic. I cannot express my thrill at this serendipitous turn of events. The world's most eminent specialist in blood transfusions, a vampire. One might say a gift from heaven. 
It may seem strange, but your words have brought me some comfort here. Forgive me. I've been an admirer of your work for a long time, and now you are so much more than a brilliant physician. And please, call me Edgar. There is no need to apologize, Edgar. You offered me sanctuary when I had none. Yeah, we owe him a lot. I have a task for you, Jonathan. Something that will require all your newfound skills. Please, go on. I want to help that other chick, too. ...through the generosity of our benefactors. Unfortunately, our main donor has found herself in a bit of a bind. Now, if you could help her out... A right. spokesman or politician is what you need. That's not my calling. And until I come to understand what has happened to me, I require discretion. Discretion is in order, Jonathan. Lady Ashbury has recently received rather indelicate correspondence that, if revealed, would jeopardize her position. And you would like me to eradicate this threat? By the stole, of course not. I would just like you to pay her a visit. Her ladyship is certainly near the tents outside, tending okay. the sick. You can't miss her. Look for someone impossibly delicate. Ah. Accepted. I'll see what kind of trouble Lady Ashbury is in. Okay, fam, we got you, homie. Anything else we could steal here? Oh, what's this? Yeah, I'm gonna take that, man. I'll take that, too. So, first things first, let's go get some XP to evolve. Let's get stronger. Might as well always take advantage of this while we're resting here because we're getting XP a lot. Then we'll go find these peeps. The hell's my door open? It's kind of weird, right? Very weird. Stamina we're gonna have to mess with. I don't wanna be in fights where I'm gonna get screwed because I don't have enough stam. The stamina I think plays a nice part into this game. Got stam up, blood capacity, health would be good too. Increase the damage inflicted when using a bite in combat. Let's do that one first. Let's get fast regen. Let's get the increases the damage. Get a little damage action going on there. My boy's kinky and shit. Ultimates level 10. We got you perform a supernatural move to your target and cause damage upon landing. Drain your stamina to fade into the shadows and become invisible the most... Move into state will drain more stamina. You will exit the shadows of an attacker. God. I guess this is kind of a stealthy one. Let's, let's try it out. Do we have enough points? Ooh, almost, almost. Okay. Alright. On the next one, we'll hopefully be able to get that one. Definitely want that uh, ultimate. Now, why, why is this side open like that? That's kind of weird, huh? Got something down there. I don't know. Let's, let's go down here like this. Then we got these dudes here. Good evening, now. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth. Gwyneth! Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Thank you, my lady. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. <laughs> I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. 
Tell me what Dr. Tippett's oh, did. Shit. I know his mistake caused a patient's death. If I had not covered up his error, Dr. Tippett's would have been fired from this. Damn, place. the cover up, boys. You can't allow your emotions to dictate your conduct concerning patients, Nurse Brannock. Look around you, Dr. Reed. Do you really think we can afford to lose a brilliant practitioner like Dr. Tippett's in our situation? Perhaps you did it with the best intentions, Nurse Brannigan, but you took a great risk. Must I remind you that a man died? You mean you've never made a mistake? Never covered your tracks? Come on, Doctor. I wasn't born yesterday. And she might have checkmate me there, guys. Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks. So the Milton? ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. <laughs> That's quite a blunt <laughs> introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. I like that. I Don't respect that, baby. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one Put my gun out that he can see that shit. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Okay. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? There are a lot of secrets around here. I'm not surprised someone tried to make money from them. What kind of secrets? I'm not in the gossip business, Dr. Reed. If you want to know more, you better talk to Harriet Jones. I respect that, I respect that. Here. All right, I don't want to trade Goodbye, just yet. We'll stock up our goodies here. Is that opium? Oh, there's the check. The flu took my dear wife, Emily. I take comfort knowing we'll soon be together again. <laughs> Mr. Rainfield, that's no way to talk. You're in good hands here, and we'll be up again soon enough. <laughs> I like now it. Now do me a kindness and get some sleep. I'll be back round later. Your words are kind. The blessings of an angel. You're the sweet, sweet lady of mercy. He's nice. So gorgeous. Good evening, Doctor Reed. It's a pleasure to see you again. The pleasure is mine. You seem surprised. Doctor Swansea has brought me up to speed concerning your recent appointment to Pembroke Hospital. You're a vamp. The lady who saved me that night, before vanishing into thin air. I remember you from the pub with Doctor Swansea. Indeed. Allow me to introduce myself formally this time. All right. My name is Lady Ashbury. I get these digits I after all. You well, in spite of the brevity of our encounter. Apologies, you've taken me by surprise. I'm very happy to Put see the you. moves. Let's go, baby. The pleasure is mine, Doctor. I hope you're more disposed to answer my questions now. You must have countless questions, but our rather urgent matter first. Swansea has explained. My cover, if you prefer, has been compromised. Dr. Swansea has commissioned me to be your agent in this matter. You could start by explaining what's amiss. These past insufferable weeks, mm. I've been the victim of extortion. I've made a first even back in the, the day people get an extorted I must refuse his most recent demands Please continue. every detail is essential I'm your man my embarrassment in this matter is eclipsed only by my shame at having put the hospital at risk the threat from our anonymous scoundrel is clear a list of dates my visits coinciding with the dates of suspicious patient deaths oh, shit. due to massive blood loss. I'll take care of it. Do you know where I should start? If that was the case, I'd settle the matter myself. 
You could talk to our local gossip, Harriet Jones. Not a pin drops here without her hearing about it. I'll meet that woman now. My life, as others know, is in your hands. I got you, baby. Read. I'm sure. Let the kid take care of you, yo. I got you. I do fear your powers of persuasion will be put to the test. When this is resolved, I'll be your obligé. I'll answer all questions in regards of your condition. Okay. Deal. Music is quite nice. My boy. Hey, <laughs> smoker. Smoke. Oh. oh. What's up, baby? Let's look at these posters, man. We're gonna leave it there for a second. Ooh, Sapaho! Small bag of junk. What's up, baby? What you need, girl? What? What is this? Who are you? Get out of my room. There's no need for alarm, madam. I'm Dr. Reed, the new surgeon. Preposterous. Dr. Reed, you say? I don't want some bumbling intern. Where's Dr. Swansea? Please calm down. Should have told her to shut up, I lady. You that I am highly qualified. I'm just back from war duty. <laughs> how brave. Threatening an old defenseless woman. You know how long I've been a patient here. You picked the wrong fight. You wanna go at it? Jones. Harriet Jones. Indeed. I've been meaning to have a chat with you. You know what goes on here better than any other patient, I gather. Better than any patient, nurse, or doctor. I've seen so many vile undertakings. I heard there have been some despicable goings on. Was there a case of blackmail? Blackmail? I... Wait. You're investigating something. This isn't a social call. One of those incompetent cunts lit a poor sod's vein. I assure you, madam, this is not an investigation into a possible medical error. Debauchery, then? Nurses Crane, Hawkins, Brannigan's, whores, all of them. They can't keep their legs shut. Damn. I've seen them scratching slutty sores. Really? Well, if you have irrefutable proof, I'll not have the staff behaving in such a manner here. This is your business, Doctor, not mine. Where one of the nurses is cavorting with some man on hospital hours. Thank you for your time, Miss Jones. Thank you, my lady. You've given me something to go on. See you on the next round. My slippers. Peace, baby. The patients and staff might know something. I'll start my investigation with them. Good evening, Mr. Hampton. How do you feel? Dr. Reed, is it? Oh shoot, we Sorry, were looking for him. Apologize for my behavior. Mm. What do you Whoa, mean? excuse me. Oh, that coffee. Fear and exhaustion make me say Damn. awful things to you, I'm afraid. You remained perfectly nice and polite. A little delirious, perhaps. But who wouldn't be after enduring... Freaking allergies are killing me. Thank you, Doctor. That's a relief. Now all I need to do is rest and return to my flock. Yeah, he feels fine. I Good really need to talk to him right now. We'll... Yeah, whatever, son. Who's this chick? Good evening, Nurse Hawkins. Good evening, Dr. Reed. What can you tell me about the strange man visiting one of the nurses during her shift? Let me guess. You spoke with that old shrew, Harriet Jones. Do not pay attention to her, Doctor. Better not be opening your legs at night. Tales. She could have been telling the truth about the mysterious man. That old witch will end up in hell soon enough. Damn. Who cares if a nurse finds some happiness where she can? Oh, shit. No matter how you feel about her, Miss Jones deserves our help. Who says I don't care for her? Hate is what keeps that old crone alive. Damn. Goodbye, Nurse Hawkins. Damn. One down. That's that other chick there. Uh, 
I cannot enter. Who's this schmuck? Good evening, sir. So it is true. The famous Dr. Reed has joined us. I can't think of any better news during these terrible times. Do we know each other? Actually, yes. We met once before. At the Rock New York City, City, baby! Dr. Tippett, yes, I remember. I was assisting Professor Carell. This is the guy we were looking for. Coronary bypasses. He had nothing but praise for you. He was also very confident about your future. And look at you now. Eminent I'm a gangster, baby! Transfusion specialist. Have you heard of any underhand dealings going on in this hospital? I have no time for such triviality, my dear colleague. Love the way they speak very proper life. English here. Kukorin, I want you to tell me about Mr. Connor. And we're using powers. Die? What happened? He was my patient. He died because of my mistake. That's the blunt. One small mistake, man. What was the nature of the mistake? It was a twofold error. My diagnosis was wrong, and the administered dosage was too strong. That's kind of what he figured out. Who was this patient? I don't know. Some sick man from the docks. Maybe a fisherman. I had no time to talk with him. No one claimed a body. Hey. Why not stop practicing? Are you mad? I killed that man, I admit it, and it won't happen again. I have saved so many lives since then. Yeah, sometimes you make a mistake, man. I will cover for you, Dr. Tippett, by keeping what happened to Mr. Connor to myself. I... I don't know what to say, actually. I can't exactly force you to become my accomplice. You didn't force me. This is my decision these? to make. I believe you're still of use to the hospital, considering the situation. Then I Woo! can make you this promise. As soon as the epidemic is eradicated, I will resign. Okay. Hey, you gave me a hundred dollars? Goodbye, Dr. Tippett. All right. Over here. Okay, this is where we were at before. Whoa. Press L to activate your senses. If a citizen is behaving, uh, behaving suspiciously, their heart will emit a glow. Okay. How do we do that? Let's see some. I'm curious. We got the mesmerize here, vampire skills, interactions, camera, lock targets there, senses. Oh, census is up here. Okay, so let's do that. So we're we're wrong with the census here, so it's up here. Let's see. Okay, it's not that. Let's see it, but I, Let's see the regular control because it seems like it doesn't stick when I'm doing it on the controller. And it can be because I'm not using a PlayStation, I mean, a uh, Xbox controller. So let's play. Let's see the key binds. Walk, toggle, walk. Interaction, skill, ultimate consumable. V. Okay, so let's do V. Let's do V. Yeah, there we go. You're sure you don't come back with me? Nah. Is that Miss Crane? The hospital. Be careful. You look so bad they may keep you as a patient. Fuck them. I don't like hospitals. <laughs> or doctors. Well then, when you go back to Whitechapel, you may find this useful. What is it? A pass for a free medical exam by the best nurse available. Just read it. I don't read well, but thank you, I guess.
We got a flat ass. <laughs> Let's go find out. We're nosy. Let's go. We still got to help that other chick out. The one who thinks that she's a vampire. That's something we'll definitely do that side mission at some point. I can't tell if this is a main mission right now, but we'll find out. Look around here. Just... At that door. And what's this other one? He's locked the door behind him. I need to find another way to follow him. Oh, he technically did. Hear that shit? Holy shit. This don't sound good. This man has been savagely attacked and dragged to the floor. Boy, that should hurt. Oh, we got the combos down. There we go. See if that weapon is good. That's another two-handed 110. Sure, let's do that. Yeah, let's put that. Definitely getting a lot of parts. Right, let's keep looking around. I don't want to miss anything. Very nice. Nice damage. We got more stuff here. Alright, it looks like there's only one way to go here. Can't eat these guys. Let's let's get some blood. Yum 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 yum. Beware. I'm gonna get more blood, man. No difference from the Twilight sucker doing that crap. Let me just check over here real quick. Try to do as much damage as we can. Alright, got him. Die! Sir? You okay? Are you injured, sir? Help me get out of here. I need to get out. I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd be glad to help you, but you must calm down first. Please. Take a deep breath and tell me your name. Okay. 
Okay, I, I, I'm Oswald Thatcher. Please. Shit, I, I didn't check out. all of it. All right, Mr. Thatcher, you're safe now. Do you think you can reach the street by yourself? Yes. Yes, I do. Good. Yeah. Now leave this place and enjoy the cool night air. It's quite invigorating. I'm sure you'll feel better if you do. Yeah, 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 yeah. All right. You rescue the citizen, he will return to his district the following night. All right, cool. Are you sure you're all right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Get the hell out of here, buddy. I thought I told him, get out of here. I'm trying to loot this shit. All right, good luck, homie. Dude, that's the exit gate for that guy, so let's go back in here. We're not quite done yet. Nice, we got light regeneration serum. So we kill those two guys, let's go deeper into here. Oh shit! Oh shit! What sort of creature is this? Holy shit. Oh. Holy crap. Oh shit. You like that? Take that sucker. Give me that. Ah! Man, this is badass. Whoa, you see that little strike he's got here? Nice. Oh, shit. What's up, baby? What's up? The big guy? Oh. Uh, uh. Oh, shit. We're out of stam. Get that stam up. We'll be able to dodge one hit. Now we're whooping its ass so far. Whoa! Oh. He's like, oh. Uh oh. Whoa. Oh, get in here. Yeah, there we go. Nice. We got some lichens up in here and shit. There's a little bit of dodging that has to go on here, but I like it. Oh, baby. Oh. Alright, we're out of stam. Whoa. Glad that we put points into Stam so I can kind of move around a little bit. I'm gonna hit him with the ether right here. The uppercut. Oh, baby. Not a lot to check, but I should anyway. Nice. If you are sick, if you have no money, whoever you are, where are you from, come see Thority to get help. No tricks, no charges, no questions asked. Just find Darius. Uh, Petresky's house and present this coupon. Some voucher for a free checkup in Whitechapel. What is Nurse Crane up to? I really must find her. The sucker was feeding. I guess that's the thug. <gasps> uh, excuse me. Sorry, my child. Where are you, little rat? Need to feed my children. Ah, ah. Yeah, let's get out of here. I think I can get out through the same way that I told this dude to get out. Tim, eat ten rats. I'm a killer. Hey, what's this? Ooh. Got a door right here. Alright, let's get out. Man, that shit knocks these suckers out. That's where we're entered. 
but it should still be stomping right here. Yes, let's grab that. District status is healthy. Looking good. Let's go upstairs. Oh shit. District status serious. To the citizens of London curfew, official health warning. Alright. Oh, these are much stronger, boys. So we might have to be careful here. Not so sure we we'll be able to fight these off. Dodge a little bit. You can see them way stronger. Let's use our special move here. Eighteen to my eight, so I'm not sure we were supposed to fight it, but we're doing it. Okay. Concerning the recruitment of new boys in Whitechapel, I think I found one. Alby. He's as stupid as a stool, but tough. I asked him to prove to me he could get some drugs for the black market and deliver it quickly and nicely. Next time with me, I'll tell him he's escaped as a wet boot boy. He must now meet the bosses to get his order. Damn. Dudes, there. This place is a little dangerous, huh? Try to take out this guy with the gun. Definitely getting some sexy experience right now. Dead inside is. Keep looking around. We've been here before, but let's get out of here. It's nothing here. I'll try to make it to the chapel. Health is good. Oh shit, scared the shit out of me. I did not see him. <laughs> oh shit. I didn't see that guy. I jumped like a little shit. Oh shit. Gotta dodge, gotta dodge. Get my health up. Oh boy, oh boy. That fucker. Man, look at that. We got fucked up. I'll pay for that. There you go. That's some of my health back. Dude, that scared the shit out of me. More and more these bloody leeches every night. I but the guards recruit more and more every year. 
And three dudes there. Gotta try to take out the guy with the gun. It's gonna be hard, but let me see if I can kill his, his friends first, maybe. There's one. Oh boy, I got sneeze with the worst type. You will pay, sucker. Dang. Oh, it's got a bayonet on that shit. Okay, I see. You. I see you, bad boy. That's it, got it. Looks like that's where we gotta go. It's locked. Okay. Yeah. This is definitely like the more dangerous area right now. I'm either I'm weaker. Hopefully we'll find a place to save. Whitechapel. This neighborhood is linked somehow to the kind Lady Ashbury's blackmail. First, let's find this Petrescu fellow. A lot of nice little balconies and stuff. A lot of goodie spots. We could drop down here. Two dudes there. Shooting a boy in the middle of the street. Who the hell's this sucker? Not the best thing to do, wouldn't you say? What? You saw what happened. H who are you? I'm Dr. Reed, and I'd like to ask you a few questions if you promise me to set your gun aside. No. Look, I I'm not a violent man. I'm Benjamin Palmer, doctor. Everybody's a doctor, no one huh? Can help me. Not even you. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? Have you heard anything? It's funny, I've been searching for her too. I need some pills. But the woman is a phantom, if you ask me. Really? And why is that? Mm. Word is she ain't real. She's a cover for some doctor who runs an illegal dispensary for migrants. I have found a very interesting letter. Your son planned to prove his worth to the gang by stealing your medicine. Oh, I see. So the little bugger thought he could use his dad to build a reputation. The gang's recruiter was dead when I found him. Perhaps you should take better care of your son. I love my Albert, sir. Believe me. Yeah, he just, just said I... <laughs> well, I'm an arsehole, I suppose. <laughs> oh, anyway, shoot. thanks for the letter. This is for your trouble. Okay. Thank you, brother. A gun, alcohol, and a bad temper make a terrible cocktail, sir. Goodbye for now. Yeah. Good evening, miss. Good evening, sir. Are you 
interested in a miraculous cure for this unknown and deadly epidemic? Actually, I am. Then you have come to the right place. The famous Swanborough Cordial is all you need to help keep you in perfect health. Oh, really? Why didn't I hear about it during my studies? I'm Jonathan Reed, by the way. Smells like a scam all the way. Jonathan Reed. Ah, oh, my brother has spoken of your research, sir. I'm Loretta Swanborough, and it's always a pleasure to meet a fellow healer. Do you know Nurse Dorothy Crane from the Pembroke Hospital? I'd like to know more about her. I don't like to talk about competition. Competition, you say? Never met her, but it seems she provides some sort of medical care to the poor. The whole thing has to be some sort of scam, if you ask me. What I'd you like got, to baby? see what kind of medicine you're selling. Let's see what I got to sell. I got much to sell, huh? Yo, these are, it looks like things I'll find and stuff as well. Screw that, I ain't buying none for me. Trying to rob me and shit. Good evening, Benjamin. I'm afraid not. Oh yeah, that's the same dude. A gun, alcohol. Getting warmer. There we go. Hello, sir. What? What do you want? Leave me alone. Good evening, sir. I'm Dr. Reed. I'm looking for Nurse Dorothy Crane. There is no Dorothy Crane here. Now, goodbye. I'm afraid this medical leaflet says the opposite, sir. Really? Well, I'm afraid I'm going to close this door right now. Go bother someone else, Mr. Doctor. To enter that house, I must discover who this man really is. Maybe I could start by observing what he's up to. I cannot enter. Are we gonna have to go around or something? If we could find like a save point. It's locked. And everything is locked here. Everything's locked here. going to investigate his actions then. Nobody at home. And it didn't want me to go the other way, so I'm going to find this guy's actions.
boy. Gotta quickly kill this guy quick. At least we can use that in multiple concession. Back some blood, baby. We got some blood, baby. Oh, okay. All right, good, 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 good. And we find one door that's open. Enter. Can't find shit. Has to be a better way for us, huh? I believe this was locked here too. Definitely gonna have to act. Right. Now how are we gonna investigate this guy's action? That's the question. We can't go through this door. It's locked. You can see that he's knocking. I cannot enter. That should be a better way. What can we do? What can we do? Can't get through there. Maybe watch from here, maybe? There we go. Now we just observe. Oh shoot, there she is. A strange man was at the door with the pass for our medical facility. I refused him entry. Darius, how could you know he didn't need our help? His clothes were too finely tailored to be for Whitechapel. Perhaps just the friend of that stray poet who is always about. Richard Nidacott. No, not of the same cloth, this man. I suspect some machination from that journalist. Clayton Darby? Is he still asking questions? Yes. I saw him drifting around St. Mary's Church. I swear he is tracking me just downwind. Interesting. Yeah. I must talk to that journalist or the poet. They must know about Darius. All right, guys. The church they just mentioned. Guys, I want to thank you guys for watching part two. We are going to call it for today, guys. If you're enjoying the content, make sure you guys like, hit a subscribe. Um, we are going to do our best to be putting out lots of content gaming related. So if uh, you're a big fan of gaming in general, make sure you guys... Uh, Give a comment. Let me know what you guys are thinking. I'm loving the game. What are you guys thinking about this game if you are um, watching alongside with me? Thank you so much, guys. Enjoy the rest of your day, and we will see you guys next time. Peace out. Much love, and bye-bye.